Hello, everybody. Psych Perspectives, GeoFucks here. <sighs> Viewer requests. We're going to talk about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy. Sean P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Diddy Combs. Bad boy for life. Bad boy entertainment. And uh, human sex trafficking, human trafficking, sexual predatory abuse, coercion, rape, extortion, just, ooh. So if you don't know, now you know, nigga, nigga. Ain't that something, isn't that, um, yes, Notorious B.I.G. Ooh, Notorious, ain't that something. Anyways, if you don't know already, now you know, okay? He was recent. His his uh, property, his his mansion in California was recently raided on allegations of human sex trafficking, and it's unfortunate. It's sad, but it's to be expected at this point. Um, as far as I'm concerned, because I've been saying this for years. Not just about, like, not specifically about P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs, but when I'm talking about cisgendered men, cis males, patriarchy, misogyny, homophobia, sexism, racism, toxic masculinity, this is what I'm talking about. At this point, I'm going to keep saying it. A lot of these cis males are walking red flags, okay? Y'all can sit up here and, oh, it's not everybody, not all of us. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Yes, in reality, we know that it's not all of the cis men or the cis males or the cis het males or the cis men. We know that. But every time we turn around, who just got, who just decided to stab a set of twins killing one of the twins because they weren't interested in his advances. He couldn't handle rejection. So you decided to stab and kill somebody. That was a cis male. Okay. That was a cis male. Uh, who decided to shoot and kill innocent protesters at a Black Lives Matter rally? In 2020, Kyle Rittenhouse, who's now traveling around, visiting colleges and doing speaking engagements. That was also a cis male. Who's your typical serial killer? Who's your typical mass murderer? Who's your typical mass shooter? Who's your typical sexual predator and abuser? And arguably... Who's been destroying the world? Every time you turn around, we're in a war. There's genocide, famine, just all of these horrible things that are taking place that are typically ran by the patriarchal society, ran by cis males. <coughs> Again, very sadistic, okay? It just needs to be set up because when you look at how masculinity has been structured under white supremacy and European lens of what it means to be a man and manhood. It's very oppressive. It's violent. It's aggressive. It's people being killed and tortured and abused. It's people being, people take, uh, have feeling the need that they have control over other people's bodies. So like I said, it's not surprising to me that we keep finding out more and more about all of these different people. And don't get me wrong. Yes, women can be predators, are predators. Women can also support, internalize, and promote toxic masculinity, sexism, misogyny, racism, homophobia. Yes, they can. And at the same time, women are not the ones in power. Not historic. I mean, when you look at the over the past hundred plus thousands of years, who's been who's been doing everything, right? Because y'all always own this. I'm a man and it's a man's world. Okay, then take ownership that you fucked up things as well. 
can't have it both ways, ho. Shit. Or you can have it both ways, but recognize it. You also have contributed to bad things. We're not saying that all of you are bad, but when we look at the systems that are in place, this is because of patriarchy. This is misogyny. This is toxic masculinity. So let's get into P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean P. Diddy Combs. I grew up, like many of y'all, listening to P. Diddy. Okay, my mom used to bump that. I mean, hello, I'm a millennial. I, I was a child in the 90s and the early 2000s, okay? 1992, baby. That's when I came out, all right? Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Most dope since 92. So that's when, you know... That's when I grew up. So I did listen to his music, his music videos, you know, making the band, him having, forcing people to walk, to go get cheesecake. Uh, I'm a huge Usher fan. So yes, okay. But if we look at everything, there was all, similar to R. Kelly, there have always been allegations about P. Diddy doing questionable things to people everything from his very shady backstabbing uh business practices stealing people stealing people's art their lyricism their songs um stealing the publishing rights getting all of their masters making all of the money off of the artists and not paying them and not making sure they get their just due i mean we've seen what he did to mace uh, how Shine ended up taking the falling for P. Diddy and serving all that time in prison. I'm glad that Shine is, is you know, succeeding and successing now in Belize. I'm really happy for him because literally he basically had his, 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 his 20s and, and early 30s stolen from him because of P. Diddy. And mind you, the woman that, that P. Diddy shot has come out stating that, okay? And it just goes to show you, he has all of these, and I'm gonna call it, the problem too with masculine, toxic masculinity is, good men or good cis males who claim to be good cis males are typically yes cis males to the bad cis males, AKA, you're good, but you're not gonna hold the bad one accountable. You're not going to check him. In fact, you're also afraid of him. You're also afraid of, of toxic masculinity. And you too are also a victim of toxic masculinity, of patriarchy. And you don't even realize it. Well, okay. Some of you do, some of you don't, right? But think about it. You got to be a yes male to sit up and take the fall and be in prison for another person shooting somebody. And then what do we call that? Oh, stitches, stitches get stitches and all this. And really, you're just justifying, you're just justifying abuse and bullshit and wrongdoing. But then when to sit up and do all of this, what, what's wrong with our community? How come nobody calls the police when somebody gets killed? How come nobody can find out who killed my cousin? How come nobody knows what happened to to your sister when she got molested or raped? How come, you know, decades later, we're finding out different uncles and aunts and, and grandparents were vic and cousins were victimizing and sexually abusing other family members, other friends, other community members, because everything is swept under the rug and we don't want to get him in trouble. And you know how they do, because there's so many lenses that I'm going to go with this. It might be a couple of parts of this because there's so many different perspectives and historical analysis, okay, and information that can be dropped, right? Nuances, perspectives, information, let's go there, right? Information is always in the description box below. Links, articles, videos, audio, what have you. Check it out. And as I like to always say, Post your information as well. Share your links and articles and information and resources too. We can all educate one another, each other, okay? But um, it's been over 30 years of allegations about him, right? And then there's always been the allegations behind what really took place with Biggie and Tupac, what really you know, facilitated that unfortunate demise of two other cis males, 
Um, and again, how the other cis males were encouraging them to beef and disrespect each other and themselves. And then which led to them encouraging further aggression and abuse that led to two murders. This was done by cis males. This is why I'm so sick and tired of us acting like there isn't a problem with that demographic. And it's largely in due, in my opinion, due to how we are socializing cis males to be toxic, abusive, narcissistic, selfish as hell, and only caring about themselves. You know, they, they take self-preservation to the extreme, okay? They are willing to throw everybody under the boat so they can get what they want at any, by any means necessary which often is people being killed and tortured and suffering. It ain't a good look. Look around you, okay? So, and the Alco part is when they raided the, the mansion, his children, like I said, cis males, that's, that, that selfishness. Nigga, you got your children being hauled out in handcuffs because of shit that you're doing. And you left. You took the... <laughs> And then this is what I mean by not only do they want to portray this, I'm a man, I'm strong. You're a fucking coward. You left your children in a mansion because you knew what was going down and you made sure to get out. But you didn't think to take your kids? You got them getting arrested for you? And they, and they about to be the next people that take the fall for you? Yo, kids? But think about it. How many cis males do we know abandon their children every single day, but then want to sit up and complain about child support? Then want to sit up and, 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 and be anti-abortion. Meanwhile, you aborting live children that are actually humans. Y'all literally will sit up, know that you done, number one, sexually assaulted somebody and or didn't ask for consent to ejaculate in that person. So therefore, sexually assaulted somebody forcing somebody to give birth when yo ass knew what you were doing, you could have wore a condom. You didn't have to ejaculate in them, but you did it anyways. And then the child is here, an actual human, not a damn embryo, not a damn seed, but an actual live baby outside living and breathing, you abandon. You human abort. That's what you do because the human is actually here now. And then, but that's what a lot of cis males do because selfish and a coward, no type of accountability, no type of responsibility. And when people talk about it, oh, that's not all. Okay. If you're not the one doing it, then why in the fuck are you in the comments talking about not all of us? Like how y'all like to tell us on your damn toxic ass cis male podcast if it don't apply, let it fly. Take your own damn advice. Shit. But anyways, he left his kids. He left his kids, y'all. They getting escorted. They being handcuffed. They're being questioned. The whole mansion is being ransacked. And then you got all of these people now. Like I said, typically it takes... And that's what I mean by cis male privilege. There's allegation after allegation after allegation, basically 30 plus years of allegations. And y'all are just now holding this man accountable. But yet y'all always talking about, well, you know, false rape charges and, and sexual assault charges that can ruin a man. No, it don't. Because so many of us grew up in whole families where people have known that uncle and papa and cousin, uh, you know, was sexually assaulting and abusing family members and, and the women and beating on the wives and everything for decades. And didn't nobody say shit. And typically it's when something comes down the road years, decades, half a century later is when people are unearthing, finding out all of these horrible things that these cis males had did. They ain't being, that ain't ruining their damn reputation. You still got people talking about free R. Kelly, free P. Diddy, free Tory Lane, lame ass. Y'all, and then that's another thing, and I'm gonna keep saying this. Y'all gonna get mad at me, and I don't care. 
when you see cis males defending toxic masculinity and defending people who have been convicted, there's evidence, there's proof, literally defending other men that are doing bad things. Something that a lot of us have heard. This is a cliche saying. But birds of a feather flock together. There's a reason why toxic cis males support toxic cis males. Because they're doing the same thing. They're also sexually assaulting and, and taking advantage and coercing people into doing things that they don't want to do. They're also physically abusive. They're also doing bad things. They see themselves in that other cis male. That's why they don't want P. Diddy to be in trouble. That's why they don't want R. Kelly in jail. That's why they don't want Tory Lamas in jail because they don't think what he's doing is wrong because they're doing it. I'm sorry, but it just comes a time where you have to wake up. That's why I'm gonna keep saying it. A lot of them are red flags. That's why I side eye a lot of cis males. And then you're always finding a way to justify fucked up shit. That in itself is like, really? Y'all justify rape. Y'all justify being deadbeats. <laughs> Y'all justify not wearing condoms. Y'all do a lot of shit that's just downright grimy. And it will find a way to argue it. And then when you start catching on, this is them. Uh, I'm just playing devil's advocate. Why would you want to play devil's advocate in defending rape? That's what I say. It's just time to really start ex examining and listening and paying attention to people's words and actions and start recognizing that's a red flag. Because you know what? They probably are rapists themselves. They probably did some similar shit. Okay. That's another thing. Dudes will know that they homeboy don't take care of their kids. It's a deadbeat. Dudes will know that they homeboy is cheating on their partner. And they'll go right along with it because they're doing the same shit. And they also want each other to cover for the fucked up shit that they're all doing. And then they'll sit up and call it bro cold. And as always, bros, it's bros before hoes, it's bros before kids, it's, it, you know, it's money over bitches, even though half of y'all don't have money. And don't get me wrong, most of us don't have money. We're literally, most of us are working poor, working class, living check to check and struggling. But you know, money over bitches when you have neither, right? <laughs> Great. Anyways. And then the Cassidy lawsuit, and that's another thing. Let's be real. People typically don't settle out of court unless they are guilty of something. They might not be guilty of everything, but they're guilty of something because there's enough circumstantial evidence that proves that they are guilty of something. Maybe not everything. But they did something. Because why else would you be settling out of court? With lawsuits and shit. Get reaching settlements. Because you know there's some evidence on your ass. And also, when the FBI is doing raids. <laughs> Excuse me. When the FBI is doing raids. Do understand that by the time they reach to doing raids, they already have evidence on you. They've got enough evidence to do a raid. And unfortunately, in this criminal law justice system, which don't get me wrong, is just as, uh, as abusive and oppressive as every other system under this hellfire. Um, and at the same time, the feds rarely fail at, pers uh, at prosecuting. So when they get you and they doing raids, the likelihood of you serving serious federal time, being locked up and fined and or fined is high, baby. Part two.
Cup it up.